Spectra Mask, and I will do a demonstration onto this um, file. Uh, so we have talked in the past about um, both layer mask and vector. This is kind of like a combination of the two. Let's actually look into the paths. You remember last class we did paths and here I have a path recorded for you. I went in and kind of created a path that got recorded into the path palette. So if I right now activate that path by clicking on it and now you can start seeing right in here, I'm going to zoom in this line that goes all around the girl. So I'm going to activate the path and then I'm going to go into my layers and if what I want to do is I want to mask the poppies so that I can see the layer below that is called winter. I'm going to go onto the girl um, uh, layer obviously and I'm going to click twice on this layer mask. The first time is going to be a layer mask, the second time is going to be a vector mask and sure enough you see now that in the, the second time the, the, the second mask is showing us what you used to see, you know, in a way when we were doing a layer mask, everything white that is right here is a visible, is part of the, the, the part you want to save. Everything that in this case is gray is not actually in black as it used to be with the layer mask because what is trying to tell you Photoshop the, using the gray is that what we're hinging on this time is a vector shape, a vector path instead of um, having a selection in there. But the gray is pretty much the equivalent of the black in the case of the layer mask that means is non-selected, is non-present, is masked out. So that's pretty much how you create a, a vector mask. It's pretty, pretty simple. You could here obviously add, you know, elements in the layer mask if you needed to. If you needed to create a certain effect or just see a certain part of the girl here, you could add it here. Let's say you want to see only the face, then you could in the layer mask kind of create a mask in which we would see only that part. In my case, I'm going to just keep it simple right now and in fact delete that layer mask because we don't need it. I'm going to just um, um, apply mask before applying it. Sure, there's nothing really that gets applied because it was a white sheet that means everything was visible. Um, so I just removed the layer mask. I just have the layer and the a vector mask applied to that layer. Another part of this lecture that is important is what if I want to create um, a kind of a custom shape now onto this vector mask to reveal some of those poppies. So first of all, you need to make sure that you target the mask right here. Then you're going to go onto the custom shapes right now, right here, custom shape tool. And we're going to go under here, under shape and put, um, you know, pick the shape you want. I'm going to actually pick a, a snowflake right now, right here. Also, what I want to do is make sure right here you're on to paths and make sure you're on to path because if you go on to shape, what you're actually going to end up with is a new layer in there that I will demonstrate uh, later. But what I do want now is I do not want a new layer. I want actually the path to end up right on this mask. So that's why I want the option called path. We did talk about the difference between path and shape in our past lecture, but here we did, here it is. Let's actually hold the shift key so we constrain the ratio and start creating these little snowflakes all over the scene. And sure enough, you can see that you can see it through the mask that I'm basically rendering visible part of these poppies by creating these shapes onto the mask. And in fact, I could al also switch it to a different shape. Let me actually go into um, a different snowflake. Let me find it. Or even, you know, like this. We can create any shape you like, even though this is a snow scene, so it makes more sense to have actually the snowflake. So I'm going to choose a different snowflake and just keep, you know, drawing snowflakes and you can see it basically allows me to reveal part of those poppies and create a really interesting effect. So that's pretty much um, vector mask and using shapes on those vector masks. Another thing I want to do though right now, just to give you a demo is, if actually instead of doing those shapes on the vector mask, I had the custom shape selected again, but instead of path, I had shape. I want to show you what is the outcome of it. I'm going to actually pick a color so you see what it does. Uh, so if right now I click and drag, now what it's doing is simply adding a shape that is filled with that foreground color that I just picked onto my layers. So that's why earlier I told you make sure that if you're targeting the mask, the options you have when you choose the custom shape in here is that path. Because if what I wanted to achieve was this effect that was to kind of poke holes 
through that snow um, scene to see the poppies behind it. And that's easily achievable through making those shapes onto the vector mask using path as the option. And again, if you use the um, shape as the option, what you achieve is create a new layer that is not what we want it. So that's pretty much a vector mask and using custom shapes on vector mask. And I said you should using custom shapes, but by the way, any shape would work the, the, the same way. If I actually had right here, you know, went with a rounded rectangle and make sure you target the mask though, okay? Don't do it on here, but click on this object before you go in and create it. But now, oops, sorry. What happened here is I thought I had switched to path, but I didn't. That is fine. It's kind of nice to make mistakes so you make sure you don't do them again right now if you are on path then you go in here and with the rectangle you'll see that I can render my poppies visible so just letting you know not just custom shape but any shape will do as long as you use path as an option and now you might remember even better because um, I made a mistake not to use it and it wasn't working as I as I wanted it all right guys so that's pretty much um vector shapes uh, as well as um, vector masks for you. All right, bye-bye.